Welcome to No BS TS episode 13, where I take a look at how generics integrate with classes in TypeScript. This is really fun stuff. We're picking up where we left off with our in-memory database. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I really like this little database structure that we got going on, but I want to have different value types. I want to be able to say that my type in this point for a given in-memory database is maybe a number or maybe a set of objects or whatever. So I want to be able to just specify that this is a type. So I'm going to start using my generic type stuff. In this case, I'll just use T again. So what are we going to do? I, we're going to need T there and we're going to need T here. And then we need to define that we need T. So there you go, T like that. But now a memory database doesn't actually implement on what database says because database is still stuck in string land. So I basically need to give the database interface this type as well. So I'm gonna pop that on there and that's gonna tell me that, whoa, database doesn't accept that. No, it doesn't. So let's go and put that on there, cool. But again, we're still getting that issue because now we haven't changed the strings here. So let's do that. So get is gonna return that type and then set is gonna take that type. Cool enough, all right. But now we have in memory DB extended by persistent memory DB, so we kinda of need to get, continue on with our cascade of adding the generics. I'm gonna add that type here, and then implement it here as well. Okay, so now if I do, for example, set, let's see how we do. Okay, so value is unknown. And that's because at the point where we kind of create this class, we don't really know what that type is. So I'm gonna say that this is now a number and that's going to set this template type to number. And now when I go back over here to set, I can see that the value has to be a number. So I'll put in there, you know, 22. And now oh, we're getting some, some errors here. That's great, okay, 23. And again, now we've got to put number down in there as well. All right, awesome, cool. And let's just make sure it works. Perfect, 22, 23, 22, awesome. Excellent. But now what if I want also want to make the key of a different type? So I'll add on K. And we're gonna say that the key here is K. All right, and it's gonna be the second generic type. So again, we need to send that on to database like so and send that over here. Now these two values are gonna become K. And mm, okay, so what's the issue here? So the issue here is it's telling us that uh, the K does not satisfy a constraint. And that constraint is that in this case, a key type on a record has to be either a string, a number, or a symbol. So let's just say that it does. So I'm gonna create a new type here called DB key type. And it's going to be string, number, or symbol. And we're gonna say that K has to extend that key type, All right? And now we're actually pretty good, except that in this case, so we need K there, and we need K there. And hey, hey, all right, looking pretty good, although, this is not happy. And the way I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna say that this initial is that, right? Because it really doesn't know. An empty object really could be anything. And then one more thing down here, I'm gonna go and again, pass on K and say that it extends that DB key type. And also pass it on to the in-memory database. Okay, that looks to be happy. But now down here, we haven't actually set what we want. And so I'm gonna put in there, let's say uh, null as a type. Okay, that's not right. So one, we need to extend a string or a number or a symbol. We certainly, we're not doing that here. So let's put in there a string. And now that's happy. One more down here for string and away you go. Okay, let's try it again. Awesome, very cool. And now I guess another check over here. Let's see if I can put in there null. Nope, not happy about that. Uh, can I put in 55? Nope, not happy about that. So it is doing the proper type safe checking for us. 
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at generics and classes in TypeScript. And we're just going to continue on with classes in the next episode. Can't wait to see you there. Of course, in the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comment section down below or jump on the TypeScript channel on my Discord server, which is linked to in the description. And of course, feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS episode arrives.